How's it going people? I'm Pwnstar and welcome to Pwnstar Plays The Sword and Story Missions Part 12. In this one I pull a job on a ferry in a high stakes poker game and I don't even know how to play poker so this one's quite interesting. I pull a job for a couple of American Indians where I sneak into the Cornwall's factory and do something there. And I also meet up with Boy Cataway and his book writer oh, friend. Enjoy! Let's see what this story mission's about then. How's it going, fellas? Hey, do I know you? Mister... I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mister... Uh... Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I... oh, to be clear, he... <laughs> He wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, Can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. Isn't everything? I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago. Oh, the cards moving. Who have filed reports with it's Leviticus Wilson's Cornwall and the state weird. government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man, I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. Oh. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting, I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the Senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Meet Eagle. Meet Eagle Flowers near Cornwall. Kerosene and tar. Now! I don't see no white point for it. I guess I'll link up with him in a couple of days, eh? Usually I edit this bit out of the video from when I'm moving from mission to mission, but being the next mission's so close, I thought I'd leave it in and it just gives you a feel and some scope of how vibrant and full of life this city is. It truly is amazing what Rockstar Games have done here. So I thought I'd leave it in. Oh, 
you going? Good morning. Mister? Yeah, bonjour, monsieur. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Okay. Hello. Can I help you, Boy, gentlemen? Boy, fine three-piece yes, tan suit from the title. Yes, my here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Jesus. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. A very good choice, sir. In his profile. The heavy brow from all the inbreeding. Well, there you go, that's quick enough. Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good the barber? My hair's fine. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Well, I hope Strace is good with his signy, because I don't know how to play poker. Like, at all. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Oh, this that. unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Is that... Make him there. look like Very a smart. prince. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, going there you. in a bit of stall. From Toad. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't Hamlet. So, who's a mark? You all right by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, 
Hey, Arthur, we're all the authors of our own good fortune. You'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. Plenty. It always goes wrong in this game. from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Hey, gentlemen. How wonderful to see you, Arthur. You remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. It's a nice looking ship. Ooh, drinks on me. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? So what poke was I when I was sitting at them? Looks like there's still an open seat, sir. Are yeah. you joining us? I guess I am. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen. Let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, call. Good God, are you men or mice? We stress. Okay, sorry boys, I'm taking it all. Holy we'll see shit. about that. To hell with it. Now, nah, I'm out. I think I'll wait for this seat to warm up a bit. I thought as much. Maybe you should have another drink, Mr. Callahan. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but... I just look better in a suit. 
I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. I ain't even gonna look at my cards. I'm just gonna look, keep looking at stress. Okay, Mr. Callahan, I'm all in. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hey, cowgirls. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Who? Oh. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. He doesn't. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, you little <laughs> beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. Boom. God damn you! N no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um. Where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. No, it's only begun. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Good night. Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. Another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. I knew things was going to go tits up. And 
How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> You had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life, <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> uh, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a noble and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Shit. Come on, Arthur! We gotta get out of here! They're shooting right at me! They're gonna burn! You shoot him back? Oh, that was a direct shot. Out of here. We're gonna swim all the way. What about the money? The money's getting sunk. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, <laughs> let's get out of here. Not a bad job. I'd have to take straight to every car going. Six thousand gang share. I only got seven feet. God damn it! So I was on my way to go see Boy Callaway, and I ran into these two guys in the back of his wagon. I wasn't going to help them, but I thought, fuck it, and I got them out. But once I did, they told me about some secret room under the gunsmiths in Rhodes. In the next video, I'm going to pull that job. So tune in and find out what I get out of there. For some fellas sojourned around here, boy Callaway and a rider called Levin. 
Drunk Bore Calloway. This bar's got bullet marks to remember him by. Last I heard, they was in Saint Denis. Had rooms on a riverboat there. Saint Denis? On the riverboat? Oh, okay then. I wouldn't drink here, though. Get on to Saint Denis and have you some Sazerac. You're looking at the pride of the moin here. The great Corrigan panel saver. Hey. I'm looking for Boyd Calloway and the man writing a book about him. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You this is about a not long rubbed. Quick, Hopefully they won't recognize me. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Well, to be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as... I Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, no, nothing. We go. Who's this grass snake? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. But I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. What a way with words. Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin. You're a snake. Damn you. <laughs> damn you, nobody. Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, God. But I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. This never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. You can't happen to me. I will kill both of you! Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are! <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, no, no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Well, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Oh, he likes him there. So I've got to go to Annisburg and grab myself a marshal. You. I'm looking for Slim Grant, State Marshal. Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshal was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> Made it to the camp.
Just try and take out these boys. Over here. Hey, hey. Thank God you came, son. I only see two of Store some dead on. Oh, there's a third. There's a fourth. I don't fuck around, son. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. I wonder if I loot these boys before I come get it here. Might as well check the camp out. Some salted beef. I don't think there's anything else worth taking here. It's, uh, it's what kind of a mess you got yourself into here then. Okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You. Might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm state marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now, you going to tell me what the hell is going on here? I was. Before you got ah. so short with me. Let's go, marshal. Son, what the hell are you up to? You go, boys. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in '82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one. Didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have. You'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Oh! Shot me in the back, son. Well, that settles that, then. Shot. I shot him in the goddamn back! And these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Plato. Come on! Draw! Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes!
That's what you fucking get, son. Yeah, don't fuck Still, with me. At least now you got a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm... I'm happy. I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No, and you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yes, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. <laughs> oh, hey, where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Oh man, that is a beautiful sort there. Now I heard... Oh my god, look at that, that is beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Now that is a beautiful gun. If you remember, at the start of this video I met with a couple of American Indians and Eagle Flores asked me to meet him at this point. How's it going, Eagle Flowers? Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Let's do that then. Sneak in, grab some foils, get the hell out of Dodge. Simple job. Should be able to do it, no problem. Mind you, if it was that simple, Eagle Flaws would be doing it. Wouldn't ya? Cornwall doesn't like me much, so if I'm caught, I'm fucked. Hey, Tom? Pick it up? Yep, supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay, better get a move on then. Shut 
forty similar. Just try and keep inconspicuous if anyone sees you, just pick up a broom and start sweeping. Is this some kind of old refinery or something? It's got to be that door in the far corner, isn't it? Hopefully, no one's in there. Oh, of course it would be. You must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quiet yourself, friend. This won't take long. Dan Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office. Uh, ooh. Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. I. Uh, Speak up. Danbury. Think, man. The mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. Speak up. It's here. It's here. It's a good man. You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Just get for the open window. For the office window. Go to that one. Come on. I don't need this, do you? I'll see you later, yeah? What a 
forgot. Ah, there's my friend. Oh, I managed to keep my hat this time. some of that oil burn so you met mr. Danbury yes don't worry he was very obliging I thought you wasn't getting involved thought you were gonna enter and leave silently thank you you saved my life thank you I hope well I don't know what I hope but who knows maybe these will be of some use here's your money Thank you. So that just about wraps up part 12. Just thought I'd let you know that on my travels through this part of the playthrough, I met three other people. The first was a guy, Algernon Wasp, wanting me to collect some exotics for him. And the others were Marjorie and Bertram, that I got into a scuff in a bar in Annasburg. So stay tuned for future sword missions with these guys, as well as that gunsmith job in the roads that I have to pull. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.